Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new Golden Goblet series with myself, Michael A.L. Fox, and Northern Lion. Congratulations is out there. It's due. Ryan Gary snuck out the win in Spelunky 4-3 over Michael A.L. Fox, but this week it's a new week. Here's the rules. One scav run. Whatever you get, you get. Every map, every day it's a new map. Whatever you extract with, you have to sell directly to fence, and whoever has the most monies gets the victory for the day. Some RNG in there. You know, we'll just call it, you know, the fence rule just, just normalizes it. So it reduces your, your knowledge for Tarkov. Well, I got to sell this to, to mechanic and this, to, it's even. So I wish the boys luck. This is a, another challenge series. Myself, Michael A.L. Fox, Northern Line, every single day, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. A random scav run, one map. If you die in, you get nothing. You got to extract with the monies. Excited. The loadout we have is a scoped Mosin. Is that what I would choose to have on our first map? Customs? Probably not. But you live with what the ball players give you, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We got 33 minutes on the clock. The question is, who's the favorite in this one? I, you know, let me know in the comments below who you think is going to get first, second, and third on this one. This will be the only one we do at the home studio, you know? Um, if you're unfamiliar with Tarkov, I think we got a pretty good working knowledge. I think what we want to do is just be very careful here. Be aware of our extracts. Scab checkpoint. I, I may have to check a map on those to be honest with you, but we're, let's Let's run our sets here. Can I turn this up in the headset? There we go. All right, I, you know, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie it, For a scab run some nerves have hit this this game just hits a little bit different. You know, we put a little extra sauce on it With the golden goblet it gets even more sauce. I want to take the Golden Goblet from Ryan Gary's grap. I don't know what a grap is, but from his grasp. So I think the key here is, I mean, if we get to hit 100K, what do we have on us? I think it would be a beautiful thing. Um, but I, I really strategy right now in day one, just make sure we get some loot. And then get out alive. The only only problem is here. I'm going to have to go radio silent at some point. Factory far corner. I, I am not familiar with these extracts. Because. These are scav centric. And. Um, we're going to have some issues. Potential good strat here. Well, I don't want to put all my. My. I don't want to put all my tape out there. You know, I, 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 I want to play slow and steady and lean on our knowledge of the game as opposed to, to going completely out of control. I think the longer we are in the raid, the larger chance of success. That'd be a great spot for some loot. Um, I'm actually going to check our exits right now. Hold on, let me pause. I'll bring you guys back. Ladies and gentlemen, someone's close. Very close. So at this point, if this was me normally, we'd go after him. But it's a different ball game. You can't, you can't play chess like you do checkers. He knows we're in here. Nervous, man. No need to be mer nervous, just be a ball player. All right, let's do this. We're going to go peek in through here. 
There's a gun box we can hit. Someone's inside there. Nice and easy here, kid. C and C. Let's, let's go to let's go to some of our classics here. C and C. Cover and concealment. Covers okay. Concealments. Okay. There's a gun box in here. Some marketable securities. It's gonna be a nice little start right here. Give it give us like an AK seventy for you. AK seventy for you. That's good eating right there. That's a good start. That's a good start. That's 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 got some value to it. I would guess from fence, maybe 5k. For me, that's enough to at least just dip out of here. I will say that if someone kills a PMC on a scav run, that should be enough to get a victory. Meaning that if they're decently loaded, you get a win. You got to feel good about it. All right. What do I think Ryan Gary's doing right now? I think he probably overplayed his hand. A little overconfident. Probably got yeeted. What do I think Melf's doing? I think Melf is heavy rat strats. Very, a lot of slow play. And I don't want to say guaranteeing he's going to get out alive. But he's going to play very conservative. For us, just just lean on our map knowledge a little bit. We could play as a true scavenger and try to just get uber loot, like those hidden stashes over here. Or we could play chicken strat. Chicken strat's not in our and it's not in our vernacular. But I believe. Just stash right there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, give it. Give us some goods. Give us some goods here, big guy. Give us some. The, if you're unfamiliar with Tarkov, in these stashes are goody goodies. Look. I know there's another one. This way. Let's let's not push it. We got to ban. This has got to be he a heavy balance of greed. We don't need to be the world greediest champion like we are. We're playing like a scavenger, man. We're fighting for our life. Every piece of loot matters. I know we passed a gun box there. It's, it's too out in the open for me. There's a dead body in here. It's a static spawn, so let's just see what's what's in there. What's in there, big guy? We'll take any scraps you got. There were no scraps. It's an interesting strat to see who's going to aggro the scavs. Because you could get some great loot from them. But then you also send all the trolls of Minus Turth at you, too. Alright, what do we got here, big guy? I guess maybe 2k? Bend the knee to Cuphead right there. Every piece of loot matters. Gotta be aware of where the shots are. Got plenty of time. Man, it would be great strat to just wait for someone coming down here. Gratata. I think if we get a like a 2-3-0 lead on these guys, I would do something riskier like that. Even though it's 
it's not risky. It's actually a smarter play. But the entertainment value, eh. Hang in here, boys. We're gonna go behind the wall here. Thought I heard someone running in front of us. One wrong turn. You're taking a hard out. Log a zero for the day. I'm not even putting that out in the ether. That will not feel good. Nice little hidden stash back here. Unsearch. Let's go. Gold chain, baby. Okay. What do we got in here? I'm nervous. I, I got some high nerves here. Look. I think Melf, unless we get a kill, I'm going to go with Melf on, on day one. Day one. Was that a dude or was that leaves? I just see Melf playing this very conservative and he wants to win very bad. I think there's a dude to our right. I don't think dorm's going to be worth it. Not not on day one. Day one, let's just let's run our sets. Get some points on the board. 808's spam in, in the comments. And then see what the other guys do, you know? <gasps> Well, that changes everything very quickly. No blood loss, please. This is where we got to be really smart. That was a that was a player, player scav. This is all good eating right now. Oh, whoa, that's a win. 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 We got to get out, though. Um, what are we going to use to win here? Probably the ADAR. We're going to eat this. That's a win if we can get out of here. Now we go full on rat strat. What was that guy doing up there? Nearly full. And the key card. It's a wrap. It's legit a wrap. We just got to get out in one piece. Oh. <sighs> Look, long way from being over, but that is Pog City, Utah. Where's the other exit at? So I know we have factory. Far corner. Where's the other one? Scav checkpoint. They're both pretty far. Scav checkpoint may get us out, but I'm going to go factory far corner. Come on. Just... Just nothing aggressive.
Nothing aggressive. Come on, baby. Yeah, yeah. Is, are you nervous? Yeah, yeah. It sounded like it was at us. Is the opening open? It's not. Alright, we gotta run for it, Marty, on this... This tube. I'd rather not make a ton of noise. Come on, baby. Probably got another three minutes till we're out of here. Not smart. It was at this moment he knew. I'm telling you, we didn't need that kill. Oh, there's another dude right there. Not smart either. They're everywhere. That was not smart, Daniel. We didn't need it, man. Oh. I'm gonna give that one to mouth, man. That that's we left droppings on the table on that one. That's what's gonna make this series engaging, Dialman. I, I think if we don't shoot that guy, I, I, I just think we're fine. We, we shot a scab. We got shot by another scab. It was greed. I said, if we don't control that, man. We're going to have problems nonetheless. <sighs> this series just got interesting. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys didn't click the like button, upside a great deal. Let me know in the comments below who you think is going to get one, two, and three. And I'll see you guys next time. Want to catch up on the Dan Geesling Show because you can't catch it live on Twitch? Then go to youtube.com slash Plays. There you'll find every single one of our live shows cut up in an easily digestible episode for your viewing pleasure. Episodes are up within a couple days of the show, so you're never too far behind if you want to catch up and watch live. That's youtube.com slash Plays to watch anything you might have missed on Twitch.